Hey everybody! Welcome back. To Northern Line Plays the Binding Guys Agreebirth. Last run, just incredible. Really, really, really fun. Not just powerful, there was a little element of that as well. I know, I know we haven't played Azazel. If it's Tiny Planet, I'll go with it. That's not, that's Turdy Touch. Um, I'm, does, that's not gonna end our streak, is it? That would be bullshit if that ended our streak, just because we wanted to random a different character. I'm fine with Isaac, because he, you know, you get the D6, you mix it up a little bit. It's just, I, I get a little too much Azazel action going on. Once every, like, ten runs feels right for Azazel. B-A-2-W-C-6-Z-Z. Sweet. I heard they removed the C6ZZ from Counter-Strike Global Offensive this week. <laughs> oh, CSGO jokes. They didn't even remove it, they just made it a lot worse. And when you pull it out, you do like a really dramatic and long kind of like boo before you can even fire. Thereby making it not exceptionally overpowered, which is probably a good thing. This has been Counter-Strike Global Offensive Analysis Hour with Northern Lion, a borderline Gold Nova 1 player, which is my way of saying I was Gold Nova 1 once for two matches and then have been Silver Elite Master until I completely lost my rank due to inactivity after Rebirth came out. Anyway, this is a great room. We picked up a couple of keys. We're in a, a good situation, I'd say. The Pact for free is just stupid good luck. You know, the Northern Lion luck has been in full effect. I'll just give that one to you straight. The, <laughs> they were so charmed with me that they chose to take their own lives rather than, uh, you know, risk battle with their loved one. I appreciate that. I can respect that, too. This is already shaping up to be pretty amazing. We should have a, a very, very good chance of getting a deal with the devil. Uh, Peeper's Eye. Let's be honest, that's probably something I should have re-rolled in hindsight. Um, but we, we get it pretty rarely compared to how we used to get it. I know I didn't blow up that TNT. I kind of feel like there's no point in blowing up that TNT. We might shoot all the poops in here. I haven't really decided. Yet to be nice and petrified poop drop. Makes this room substantially better. As is, this room is one of the most annoying rooms that you can get on the basement. But it is what it is, you know. You would, we're doing pretty solidly thanks to the pack, so I'm not really minding it all that much. You know, I'll tell you what, I'll shoot eight poops. So there's, uh, th there's four. Five, six, seven. I might as well do nine. Eight, nine. Nothing. You had your chance, and you blew it. Now we only need to shoot three to get all the poops done in the room. We might as well finish the job here. Ah, there we go. Hiding in the very last poop that we had. Oh no, there's still a couple of poops back here. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, the money's real. There's a hole in Isaac's arm where all the money goes. Let's see what we got here. Another spirit heart. Was that worth forgoing the money that could have given us good shop access? Probably not. That's okay. Where's our where's our shop? Or sorry, our boss room, by the way. Is there another door on this side? Oh, there's another door over there that I think I missed. Okay. All is all is well that ends well here. Peeper's eye is going to do a little rotation. Probably kill that dude in the middle. Yeah, appreciate it. I hate those guys. Because I never, like, the, the, the bombs... Or sorry, the, the spiders that are black explode. However, the daddy long legs that are black just shoot at you. But the red ones... Do not explode, I can't remember. Anyway, Duke of Flies. I'm, I'm glad I'm saving one bomb. Oh, come on now, don't do me dirty like that. Never mind, I, I wish I hadn't saved a bomb, because now I just feel like I've lost a little bit of morale. You know what they call morale in Europe? They call it morale with cheese. <laughs> uh, okay. You're gonna be rolling in spirit hearts if you're playing the seat along with me. Look, this is a bit of an interesting choice. Blue cap is a great item. I like it a lot, except when it ruined our Ipecac laser last time. Not that I can really complain about how that run went down. Um, we are going to check this out, just because we're already here. Ooh, okay, well, forget needing to get a deal with the devil. Hopefully we'll get a chance to come back here, because Headless Baby is the only one here worth taking, but um, that's all right. Baby Bomb here. We got Lemon Party, which is okay, and Luck Up, which is great. I mean, I wanted to open up that special chest, but maybe we'll have the opportunity to do that later. Um, the the danger on this floor is that, you know, by re-rolling the pills into blue cap, we unfortunately... Ah, very good. We unfortunately might not have the opportunity to get a D6 charge before our boss fight, but we should be able to. It might be a little tight, but that's okay. Unicorn Stump is a great item. 
That, and it might be the greatest item we don't take. I know in, I think it was like the very first episode of Rebirth, I got Unicorn Stump and I was like, I don't get it. Well, it's a Spirit Heart and it uh, purifies whatever curses we have going on. Counterfeit Penny's alright. Come on, just I want to stack up like a few more rooms of combat. We only need one more room of combat after this, because the boss room will definitely have combat. And then we can guarantee a reroll. Um, but the, the value of Unicorn Stump doesn't come from it itself. It comes from its incredible synergies. So, by itself, not that good. It's alright, though. Extra HP there is lovely. I can see Forever was very good for us here. We might as well shoot all this because with Counterfeit Penny, this gives us a very good chance to actually be able to visit our shop. Uh, our reroll is better served on the deal with the Devil. So even if we find ourselves unable to go to our... Um, unable to go to our... Uh, Reroll or uh, unable to reroll our uh, item room or our shop for that matter. Uh, it's okay because the rerolls are much better used on the deal with the devil, which we should get. Haven't taken any red hard damage, a little bit more, you know, spirit hard damage that I'd normally be comfortable with. But uh, these rerolls on the devil room could turn out very, very nicely for us. We can take pretty much whatever. What do you got? Toothpicks. Toothpicks are okay. Those get rerolled into pentagram, which I think is great. And Sister Maggie, which is not, but that's all right. We could buy a battery in our shop and be able to reroll whatever's going on there. We'll see. There is no battery for sale. Um, like, none of these are that good. I think I'm going to use Purity. And then our pill is I can see forever, right? Yeah, okay. So, I mean, it was five cents that I spent that I didn't need to spend. But this should give us access. I should have taken Sister Maggie just to give us access to the boss rush or boss trap room, but that's okay. We're still doing fine. Time is doing well. We can use I can see forever on the next floor to hopefully give us more than our money back and maybe even another uh, special heart anyway. So let's pop I can see forever here, and then we'll enter this Curse of the Blind. We should have saved purity for this floor apparently. How to jump? This is not a good item. So we'll remember that how to jump is located in our item room. And hopefully we don't get an amnesia pill so we forget where that is. As of right now, damage and, you know, DPS off the charts. That was not good. You're surprisingly tricky to hit, mister. Uh, one bomb for a black card. It's a good trade if you're a little low on health. We're not very low on health right now, so we don't need to worry too much. Check out what we got going on in here. Uh, we don't need to look for a secret room. But is a bomb worth, or is a, a chest worth a bomb? I think so. In in many cases, at least. It just slowed us down for no reason. My mistake. Yeah, that was well worth it. We basically just picked up a free, like, 10 cents or something. And even more consumables to come. This is probably, like, my least favorite mob trap room. These guys are annoying because they take a while due to their teleportation. And then their little cousins here are even worse. There's less of them, but they're they're annoying as F regardless. And then these guys, or this Larry Senior here, is not so bad at all. Our damage is, is already quite good, so it's it's not like we're in a terrible position in that regard or anything like that. But still, you know, it's it's the thought that counts or something. So my hunch is that my hunch, my hunch, my lovely Northern hunch, my my hunch is that I'll probably end up. Uh, Wow, that's a ton of money. It probably just end up buying whatever the shop has for sale. Two 15 cent items? Why not give it a try? We got the money, right? One 15 cent item is completely justifiable. Uh, it's bad though, but we can re-roll it again. We've already paid for it. So I say we come down here. Forget re-rolling how to jump. Because we already paid for our shop item, we know what there's some cool passive shop items we might be interested in. It's a shame because we can't really tell what they are, but oh well. Bombs are key. I like it. I'm okay with that in our current situation. So we'll reroll Boomerang again. It becomes Mom's key, which is great. And then we pick up our uh, battery. And yeah, I still like the battery pickup because we have a lot of money, but I'm not going to use it on Unicorn Stump yet. Because I don't know if we're quite going to get enough rooms in order to make it worthwhile. This doesn't prove anything because there's still more rooms left, but it was mostly just a, a safe pickup to see if, you know, we'd be able to do it. Oh man, mom's key. So good on the consumable drops. Peep is annoying. Throw one bomb in here just to speed up the process a little bit. Because he is in a little bit of a tricky spot, unfortunately. Our, our damage is fine, but 
We got our own little peeper's eye here. Just doing the work. Please, like, don't be behind the rock any longer. And don't spawn creep here. That would make you a real asshole. Do you want to be an asshole? I know, I know Peep. I know him inside and out. Like the Feist song, he's motivated by a desire to be a nice human being. Even though he's some kind of abhorred monster. Placenta. Placenta. It's weird. But I actually think Placenta is below average as far as HP upgrades go because it, it forces, it's still good in almost every situation, but it does force you to not be able to control your own HP, which is really bad as EVE, really bad if you're trying to desperately maintain permanent Polaroid invincibility. Anti-gravity tiers, you know? I, I don't think these are a run-ender. I don't think they're, uh, I don't think it's a necessary, ne or I don't think it's necessarily a good thing. But I don't think it's a run ender either. And we can really visualize what our rate of fire is now. It's out of control. Mind you, I mean, we did get a tiers upgrade from anti-grav tiers, but uh, yeah, we're, we're creating some real stuff here. I think we got like a really cool setup for synergy. And if you know me, you know that uh, the my most important characteristic in Isaac is absurdity. So I'm happy to be here creating these ridiculous showers of bullets. We should probably aim them at the enemies, though. We can't rely on these guys to get sucked into it unless we end up uh, accidentally recreating the Waka Waka challenge by getting some uh, Dark Magnetic tears, which, I, you know, if Dark Magnet showed up or Strange Attractor, I would uh, I would probably pick it up just because it's weird. I am... I'm too much of a slave to the the good or ridiculous kind of item interactions. It's It's too hard for me to let go of that. Well, we got enough keys. Let's give it a try here, see what we got. Thank you for not making me re-roll this run that I'm actually quite fond of right now. I appreciate that. No live bombs, so we are going to have to use our own bomb here. But it's, yeah, basically exactly what I was going to say. It's almost always worth it. Fate is a, it's a great item. We'll check out our curse room, and inside of our curse room, more pills, bombs are key. I can see forever is so good. I'm so happy to have this, and bombs are key is acceptable as well. Not not truly incredible, but acceptable. You're acceptable. You're acceptable. Slightly above average, just like... Well, I was going to say... First off, I shouldn't have started that. Because I was... <laughs> the only reason I know that song, that's the one that's like... Uh, it's an obsession. You're my obsession. I will find you. You know, the only reason I know it is because my mom watched a lot of fashion TV when I was younger. And that was like the song as like the the intro would play and the models would walk down the runway in their ridiculous like bird outfits you, you'll see this everywhere coming this fall I don't know about that lady who's hosted fashion TV in Canada for a hundred years I don't know if we're gonna be seeing the bird suit make as much of an impact as you had uh, anticipated I think you might be being a little disingenuous dare I say I'll be honest piggy banks not good enough for us to pick up unless we have no other option you never know we can get a 48 hour energy pill we can get uh, uh, a battery on our shop and not have to use it for anything else. We should very much get a deal with the devil here. We're on caves too. So a little slower than I'd like to be right now, but um, we, we do have a lot of damage. That should sort itself out pretty quickly. And uh, of course, everything else we get that uh, improves our damage benefits us drastically as well. You know what would be... I, I don't think I've ever had this yet. Anti-grav tears, or I haven't had it where it's like the dominant theme. Anti-grav tears, I'll take it. Plus piercing shots would be... So good, I feel. Because the especially if you had uh, magnetic, strange attractor. Because the enemies would walk into the tiers and they'd die, but the tiers wouldn't die. They would stay alive and they'd still do full damage to the next enemy. I would really love to see that. Like to the point where even if uh, we just had like kind of a ramshackle approximator of that, I'll take Pandora's box. And that gives us HP. It just gave us an HP upgrade. Um, okay, we'll take BFF as well because otherwise people will be quite ornery with me. Plus, I think BFF's pretty good. We've got a familiar. Why not, right? The two familiars, actually. Don't want to, you know, uh, write off Headless Baby. That's a decent familiar. Was there a battery for sale in there? If so, I shouldn't have come to this room yet. There is. Okay. Um, I think we reroll this. And the jar is bad. We'll take the battery and then we'll use this battery um, to reroll Either what Gertie gives us, or more likely what the deal with the devil does or does not give us. 
Look at this, though. Oh, man, that's so good. To be able to just put, like, 15 shots right there in between each of Gertie's shots, that felt really good. Oh, Peeper's Eye benefits from BFF as well. So we just get an HP upgrade here. So we'll take this HP upgrade. I, and I think we reroll the jar because it's active, and it becomes the Bible, which is terrible. Um, in, in game, of course. And then... Uh, we still have a second secret room to find, so that's unfortunate. We'll go back for Piggy Bank. You know, we already paid for it. We might as well get it. Pill is... Bad trip. Not so bad. There's another Spirit Heart waiting for us, I thought. Should have picked up Piggy Bank earlier. We could add a little money in our pocket right now. Uh, you know, just explode you. With Counterfeit Penny, you know, pay for itself. More than in, uh, pay for itself. And I'm not worried. Like, we'll, we'll go back for Piggy Bank. We should have more than enough time to do... Uh, we should be close to having enough time to do Boss Rush, if that's the kind of thing we're interested in. It may or may not be. This run is pretty powerful right now, but it could always benefit from being a little bit more powerful. Right. We can no longer go to special rooms via the secret room, so this is going to slow us down just a little bit. We have six minutes to do two floors. Ah, it's, it's doable. We also pick up a little bit of money just for getting Piggy Bank. I should have picked it up earlier. It would have helped out. Oh, well. Shit happens. So we're going to be heading down to the next floor in, I would say, a pretty good position. Like, long-term, very good. Short-term, strangely, like, a little worse. I know that sounds very strange because the game gets much harder as you go along, but... I don't know why. I feel like long-term, this run has a lot of opportunities to get good enough to beat it. But if we if we maybe have, like, two bad floors, that could put us in a bad position for the womb or something. I guess I'm just a little anxious about not being able to get the boss rush, but who cares, really? Like... I, I made such an effort to get the boss rush last time, and then when I got there, I was like, these items aren't worth it. <laughs> so, I guess I should stop feeling so beholden to it. Oh, well. Again, not that big of a deal. Nine cents. Counterfeit Penny showed up, I think, the last two uh, runs in a row. It's, it's all right. I would prefer a little bit of variety here, a little fever for the flavor. Little Chub, my philosophy on Little Chub. It is GE, good enough. As is this situation right here, where we just picked up another Eternal Heart. Uh, Anti-Grav, actually like a pretty nice deterrent to these Zombros as well. And uh, like, also, yes, these guys. Go ahead, pop down. It's gonna be bad for you if you fall directly on a tier, your shit is over. Uh, yes, excuse me, Mrs. Patterson. Um, we've run the tests, and we're sorry to tell you that according to the x-rays, your shit is over. I'm very sorry. I can see forever, continuing our, our run of getting this on every floor. Uh, we're not gonna worry too much about the bombs or key pill. Like, our consumables have been fine, and are likely to continue to be fine. It is, you know, it's a decision born out of laziness, but sue me. I think we'll reroll everything here. Okay, starter deck, I think, is good enough. It also gave us an Ansus rune. Which, with the blank card, um, which we just rerolled, would have given us, like, vision on every floor, but we'd have to get rid of the D6 to make it work. Which I don't love. I, I love the D6. I don't love getting rid of the D6. Having already visited our item room and our shop on this floor, I think we are content to maybe fight our boss and, and have a chance at uh, the boss rush. Extra spirit art is meaningless, which is very encouraging. Yeah, this is perfect. So we get the Fallen and a double deal with the Devil. That's that's really where the the delicious bounty on this run lies. Wow, this this is pretty good. Horror Babylon is only good if we can get rid of our HP. Judas' of Shadow is not good enough, man. I should have bought the battery before I came in here. Um, uh, yeah, it's sealed up. That's me being an idiot. It's all right. We'll head down to the next floor. I don't feel good about that, but maybe we've earned ourselves deals with the angel in the future that I don't even really want, but that's okay. Similarly, we should wait for a reroll here, but I'm not gonna. Any item that the devil room can give me, or sorry, the curse room can give me, I'm probably pretty tempted to just pick it up. The guppy item we'd want to reroll, but I wouldn't feel that bad about losing half a spirit heart, you know, twice to reroll a guppy item. It's a pretty smoking deal. Zombies are weird. If they walk into the shot, they... Oh, yeah, we'll try this. There's a Tinted Rock here, too. If they walk into the shot, then uh, they take damage. If I shoot them, they don't. Very strange. 
So we'll uh, try bombing this for a black market. May or may not work. That is a black market. Let's see what we got going on down here. Uh, free Holy Mantle. That's about as good as it gets. Not gonna... Oh, might as well make sure you actually pick it up there. Uh, that's, that's an incredibly good spell of luck for us. Holy Mantle. A lot of people would probably argue it's maybe the best item in the game. Maybe. Bob's brain gets re-rolled into... Virgo, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Seriously, though. Uh, this is good. You feel refreshed and protected. So it gives us the Celtic Cross effect. I, admittedly, I don't really know what refreshed does for us, but... It's one of the horoscope items or zodiac items that I'm least familiar with. There's enough money to make our shop worthwhile. How's our time? 17.24. It's good. I mean, it's, it's fine. Parasite, I like this item a lot. Cool synergies. Seems a little a little bit cooler in uh, Rebirth than it is in Vanilla. Maybe because it actually shows up in Rebirth. Whereas in Vanilla, it was uh, seemed pretty rare. Does it actually work? Like, it gave us... Um, it, yeah, it does work. It gave us uh, orange tears. I was just a little confused about whether it actually split shots, but they're just really tiny. There is a battery for sale. You know what? Blue map is fine, but I gotta donate to get our donation machine back to where we were recently. That's fine. Eight cents left. We're gonna buy a key. I don't think we'll need the uh, reroll. We should be able to get one in time. If we don't, well, it's fine. And again, you might want to use that reroll on the boss rush room. You never know, right? Oh, come on. Just fly into a shot, please. Ooh, let's just go around here. I think we're strong enough to beat Mom. I'm going to open it. Uh, we're, we are strong enough to beat Mo Mom, but I think we're strong enough to beat Mom quickly as well. We picked up more keys than we put down there, which is great. Yeah, now we'll get one charge for beating Mom. Uh, so I, I don't mind if we get in there at like 1930. Probably won't need counterfeit penny. Bloody penny could be good. We've got a large base of HP to draw from here. And to then have to fill up again in the future. Uh, this is fine. We'll have more than enough time to do what needs to be done. Oh, I love that ability to store up shots and then use them all at once. That is nice. Just keep drawing like a straight line here. Basically, this allows us to, to plan for no matter what direction Mom's uh, face and body parts show up out of, we can have shots ready to go. Like that one, for example. Worked out very nicely. And now we're done. We'll take our Polaroid. Check out what we got in here. Uh, Mom's contact is so good. Yeah, I, I've gotten a luck upgrade too. Let's do it. And for a lot of these enemies, we can really benefit from pretty much just forcing them to walk into our bullshit. We can fly, so we don't need to worry about creep. Okay, don't be an idiot about it. Right now, I'm presently being an idiot about it. Remember, Carrion Queen is like the biggest motherfucker at this point in the game. If you can kill Carrion Queen before it drops like more than its average number of poops, that's the only thing that matters. It only dropped one, I think, this time. Still gotta get the hustle on it here. There you go. That's good. Carrying Queen's dead. Rest of this, you know, shouldn't say it's a cakewalk, but it shouldn't be too tough. With uh, with anti grav tears, we can also have like th maybe ten shots ready to take somebody as soon as they spawn, which is really nice. Not quite as fast as I would like to see us doing this here, but that's okay. I didn't plan my shots appropriately there, but... Okay, you're, you're getting hit more than you should get hit. Self. So if you could F off with that noise, that would be great. You know, the, the harder waves are still yet to come here. It's good to get a lot of... Good diffusion of shots going on here. Okay, Loki, come on, dog. Don't ever teleport on me again. You won't like me when I'm angry. Okay, it's good. Where, where, where are you? I don't even see the bullets. You're all the way down here? That strikes me as a uh, good old-fashioned horse shit right there. All right, yeah, chase me down. See what happens here. This is gonna be bad for your health. This is probably gonna end up being the easiest wave for us. All right. Kind of hang out in the middle here. 
Throw some shots down for Larry Jr. to run into. Thank you. Pretty surprising how they seem to change direction exactly as they come into contact with my tears. I'm sensing perhaps some horse hockey might be at work. Edmund, Tyrone, would you care to respond to these allegations of equine ice hockey? I keep sometimes like every once in a while people will tweet me like a, an interview. It's always like a Tumblr gif, gif, whatever. Choosy moms choose it. Um, they'll uh, and it's like a it's an interview with Daniel Radcliffe who played Harry Potter in the films in the Top Gun franchise, and it's like I've found if you really want to annoy a Canadian, just say ice hockey instead of hockey because they don't realize that there's different forms of hockey. Hey douchebag. Douchebag, we know there's different forms of hockey. Maybe we get annoyed because we're like, hey, it seems like Daniel Radcliffe, my childhood hero, is fucking with me. Why can't we just have a conversation, Daniel? Why are you trying to annoy a whole nationality? And everyone's like, oh, that's cute. Because it's it's cute to, to malign Canadians, right? Can you imagine if you did that to, like, some other countries? I don't know, man. I don't think the message would be received in the same way. They'd be spreading the, the gif. They'd be spreading it for different reasons. They'd be like, look at this asshole. It's harmless, and I'm I'm feigning a lot of my uh, a lot of my indignity here. I'm just saying, man. Yeah, I think you know. People are getting annoyed with you, but not for the reason that you expect. You know, you think you're the cleverest motherfucker in the room. We know field hockey exists. People play field hockey here. I mean, it's probably less played than EA Sports' NF NHL franchise, so. It's like the third most popular form of hockey in the country, but still. I don't even... I, he makes me want to be, like, patriotic. And I'm not a patriotic person, really. But he makes me want to come up with, like, some kind of stereotype. Hey, you want to know how to offend British people? Stream and live on the west coast of North America and stream on the Pacific time zone. Ooh, Northern Lion, you, don't you care about your British viewers? I care about them, man. I just can't change the curvature of the Earth, unfortunately. As much as I would like to, to put, you know, rearrange the alphabet, put you and I next together. Unfortunately, you and K are together, and it uh, makes uh, makes time in the stream very difficult for a European audience. Wow, that was some that was some knockback there. We can also use uh, anti grav tears to set up like a little protective shield, keep the scythes away from me. It didn't really help too much because I just walked right into them right after, but you get the idea. One more wave after this. I recognize this has been a slow, uh, it's been a slow burn here. That's alright. It happens. I don't know, yeah, chase me down. Enemies that chase me down are going on the nice side of my Christmas list this year with anti-gravity tears. One third of the bullshit is done. Don't shoot. He shot. What was that? Oh, it was Celtic Cross's effect. I was like, we don't have Polaroid going yet. I haven't lost that much HP, have I? Answer, no. Thank you, little chub. We get little Haunt. Little Haunt's good enough to take. We're going to save our reroll. It's going to be deals with the devil in the future. Now, the frustrating thing is no spirit hearts. If we had spirit hearts, I'd be a happier camper right now. So what do we... We got Mom's Contact and Little Haunt. Was that worth, like, four spirit hearts and the time invested? I could justify that, I think. I don't think it's bad. You know what? I'm going to use the Anzu's rune. The reason I'm going to do it is because uh, I want to ensure that we go through as few rooms as possible to get to our boss. Because I want to give ourselves the best deal with the devil chance possible. Come on, dog. There we go. Four keys. That is where we can start to be a little bit more liberal with our uh, golden chest opening, according to the Northern Lion method. That's pretty good. Five keys. Looking for tinted rocks in all the wrong places. Oh, I didn't get hit because of something. I somehow did not get hit there. Oh, holy mantle! I totally forgot that I had a holy mantle. I was like, man, I'm a... How did I not get hit there? In my defense, you know, I picked it up without too much ceremony inside of a uh, black market, but still. Alright, now I have no excuse to to take uh, red heart damage. I would have been hit like 
twice or three times already. Let's open this bad boy up. Hey, Infamy. Infamy is good enough. Used to shit on it, then it saved my life in a Mega Satan run. And I decided not to shit on it anymore. That Loki is dead. Yeah. Little Haunt, striking fear into the hearts of the uh, Norse God of Mischief. Yes, we do want uh, damage plus range. Why not? And the Krampus fight is always a bit of an interesting one here. If it's Lump of Coal, we'll take it. It is Krampus' head. So that is a reroll into a different and hopefully better deal with the Devil item. Yeah, Abaddon. You know, lowers our uh, HP substantially, but increases our damage and gives us an automatic fear shot, which is incredible. AFS, always fear shooting. Don't you don't fear shooting? The enemies should fear your shots. The lack of HP we have is obviously a little troubling. Um, would have been awesome if we got like a random guppy's paw or something like that before taking Abaddon if we had a second deal. But uh, I think it's worth it. And plus, you know, I, I like to live dangerously. As I think we saw on that, uh, on that last run. I also like to live dangerously. That's a lot of money. Mmm, I, I think I can justify it. Man, that red chest was the one that I was, like, most excited about. Anti-grav tears, just Mr. Mr. Northern Lion, tear down this wall! Okay, never mind, I'm just gonna die. Alright, well, you're all gonna be, uh, deceasing soon as well. Tis the season to disease. And if you could just charge into these shots that then freeze you and destroy you, that would be awesome. Again, I would still love to pick up, uh, well, now we don't really have a need for Bloody Penny at all, but I would still love to pick up uh, our delicious, delicious uh, magnetic tears. I was going to say anti-grav. We already have anti-grav freeze. No? Alright, well, still, big problems. BFF, actually a really good pickup for us on this run. We're doing work. Holy Mantle, of course, means that our HP is... I mean, it, I, I think... There's an interesting argument to be made here. I think Holy Mantle's better than the Wafer, though. It depends. The Wafer is much better on rooms where you take a lot of damage, but Holy Mantle is, is better on average, I think. Usually, on these rooms... Let's put it this way, I think... Uh, the wafer's better on bosses. Holy Mantle is better on um, every other room. What rooms usually cost you more in the long run? It varies run to run, admittedly, but I, I would think that the rooms leading up to bosses, especially on the chest, are uh, a little bit more difficult. So just, yeah, leave a bunch of tears there. Then walk him into his death. Twelve keys. Now all we need is a Jera rune. Who played seven of nine on uh, Star Trek Voyager for... 11 seasons. It lives, but not for long. Man, even uh, Peeper's Eye, thanks to BFF, doing a little bit of work up there. Much appreciated. This is going to be bad for you, Mom. You're not going to like what's about to happen. I can't believe that in like 15 shots there we had no freezing, by the way. But hey, it happens, I suppose. Up to the cathedral. And uh, again, shaping up to be a pretty easy cathedral run here. We'll check this out, just see if we get golden chests. One of the rare situations where I was excited for golden chests this late in the game. Well, they, apart from the, the chest itself, of course. I took damage there? A little surprised. Here's a tinted rock. We'll take advantage of that. Um, I think we blew up a haunt in the process there. I, I took real damage there. That's disappointing. Well, the wall masters have to be dead. And so do the haunts, apparently. I guess they were frozen. Rarely two tinted rocks in the same room. Might be never. Like, literally never. Okay, curse rooms are free as long as we, we make sure that we do have a charge for Holy Mantle when we go into them. That is something that is easy to get confused with from time to time. Pretty much what I'm doing here is just setting up a, a perimeter for these Envy shots. I'm gonna try to like enclose the Envy in a circle of anti-gravity tears. It's a novel strategy for me, uh, but it works, I think, you know, get him, look at that, what's he gonna do? He's all cloistered in there, like a conclave of the papacy. And uh, well, still, like it's an annoying room, but you know, it's a fun way to tackle it. That guy just appeared out of thin air. 
We did lose our Holy Mantle charge, which means we can't go into our curse room for free right away. We're going to have to walk out, walk back in, which is weird, but you just got to live with it. They die in one hit. Why does it take so long to get them all killed here? Ooh, stay away, please. We go out. We come back in. Can't explain that. Guppy's paw. Guppy's paw we can't use, but we can use it as a reroll pedestal for sure. We can reroll it many, many times. Well, as many times as we can anyway. Guppy's head with BFF. This is pretty solid. We'll uh, Now we have a little bit more incentive to explore the rest of the floor. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> we have a little bit more incentive to explore the rest of the floor to get reroll charges because uh, I think I'm pretty much guaranteed to just get guppy items out of those. If Even if not, it's a free deal with a devil item. Joker? Two of clubs. Might as well pop it right away. Bombs are unlikely to be a, an integral part of our success on this run. Yeah, we'll open it. Uh, Wiggle Worm. Uh, no, thank you. Not at this point. Wiggle Worm is... I think Wiggle Worm is an item you take just for shits and giggles, basically. It used to give you a shot speed up, is that what it, or it gave you like a tears up when you took it and it was a not in trinket form of vanilla? Those were the days when Wiggle Worm wasn't a trinket, oh my god. It scared me there. Okay. So. Anytime I can get these guys frozen, BFF the little haunt is gonna F their, FF their BB. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense. Frequently fuck their big butts. The devil card. Devil card is pretty pr pretty okay. Don't want anything to do with that uh, Bob's rotten head ding dong there. Yeah, nine lives is just free HP for us in our current situation, and we become guppy now, which means our fly generation is gonna be off the what? Off the what? It's, it's the chain is what I'm looking for there. It's off the chain. Kate, you didn't answer me. What? Yeah, there you go. It's all good. The guppy dream is alive and well. Our rate of fire is stupid good. The flies we're going to generate are going to be disgusting. This is a glorious position to be in. Temperance. I did not mean to walk into that. Holy Mantle does not protect you from that. That was just me being an idiot. Uh, and we got our devil card, so we'll go. If we had more HP, we could actually use this, but as is, it's fine. This run is pretty much over at this point. We got... Um, and we got a little lucky, but we also took anti-gravity tears, which a lot of people don't have the the huevos for. I see you out there, Northern Lion. Stop taking number one. It's got slightly negative properties. Northern Lion, never take Tiny Planet. It fucks your runs up. Sometimes you end up with a run like this, though, where you store your tears, and then just bash the shit out of them with flies. Mind you, of course, getting Guppy entirely on one curse room doesn't happen all that often either. We are going to. Open this up. Number one, E. coli, Speedball, Black Beam. We're going to take number one, even though it drastically lowers our range, because it'll increase our rate of fire, which will increase our tier generation, and uh, we'll reroll everything else when we get the opportunity to do so. Are we really generating more flies? I think we are. It's kind of hard to tell. I think we are. And it really, it doesn't matter what our range is, because as long as we can... Eh, it's okay. As long as we can freeze an enemy, we can just jump in there and then get as close as we need to get. D20. I will take Ipecac here. It's a it's a dangerous decision. Uh, but our flies should do crazy damage now as a result. Our rate of fire is destroyed. But, you know, again, what what am I if not a person that is... Beholden to the will of absurdity. And this this is absurd. Plus, with Holy Mantle, we should be a little safer. If our flies could actually attack the enemies, that would be lovely. Also forces me to be much more conscious uh, about how I use my tears, because if I'm just constantly holding the button down, that's a recipe for disaster. We can tap shoot. If you're interested in, in, in that as a, as a mode of uh, doing damage to enemies. Kind of creates an interesting situation where we actually have to dodge our own shots more than dodging any of the enemy shots. Okay, Holy Mantle's already gone. Like, wh what? Okay, it's because these are real dingles here. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, but... Um, yeah, they, they don't spawn any enemies. I was like, he shouldn't be able to do what he's doing here. That's okay. 
Getting more rerolls to bring back. Headed to the country, gonna buy a load of rerolls. Guitar solo's freaking me out, man. Hagala's rune. Combined with the devil card. Not incredibly useful. Oh, he's sucking him in! Okay, Holy Mantle's done. Shouldn't the Parasite create like little tiny explosions here as well? Oh, this is the most dangerous room of all time for us. It actually turned out to be kind of easy. I apologize. D20 is what it is. Mystery Sack is what it is. We'll take our all stats upgrade. No question about that. This is a... Say it with me. This is a one run. We're not going to lose this one. At least we shouldn't. The odds are... The odds are in our favor here. As Katniss Everdeen would say. Katniss Everdeen would never say that. She's the leader of the revolution. Okay, I get it. We got little, um, we got piercing Ipecac shots now. I have no idea how these work. But they exist, and I'm happy to have them. Sagittarius, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite horoscope items. Okay, let's get one shot penned in each direction. That might be enough. Found our secret room. Holy Mantle, admittedly, saving me a little bit here. Celtic Cross don't hurt either. Oh, look at all these delicious red hearts I'll never be able to use. Very sorry about what's going to happen here, Lust. Actually, should kill Lust last, if possible. It's not really possible. These, like, when the triangles fly like this, they really remind me of, like, uh, we're playing, like, an old Atari game where they're like, we got to model planes, get out the triangle stencil. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna finish the fight here because I think it's the smartest idea to make sure that we don't end up completely screwed. Just gonna stand right here, slowly kind of dodging back and forth, making sure our shots get in there. Yes, we are taking damage in the process, but we're certainly doing a lot as well. Kind of wish I didn't take Ipecac. Like our flies were, they do more damage now, but they were more prevalent before. But hey. That's another good run. Thanks for watching. Pretty zany one. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.